everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Survival from the Vexton server. Well, um, in today's episode, I have a few things planned that are going to happen, okay? Um, first big thing that happens is I'm, gonna, I'm going to show you how to get rid of a crap ton of mycelium on an island, okay? Because my island is pretty much completely infested with mycelium, and I want to clear that stuff out and replace it with beautiful lush green grass. Uh, just to have a, uh, an empty canvas, you know, um, to work with, right? Because um, it's all a bit, little bit easier to imagine once it's actually green and actu actually looks like grass, you know. So uh, let me quickly fly, fly you over there and I'll be right back. And there we are on Mayhem Island. Uh, well, no, wrong island. I mean this island over here. Okay, and there you're gonna get a little bit of an idea how bad the infestation is, okay? This stuff is literally everywhere, Jesus. Seriously, how am I supposed to get rid of this? Um, it's actually pretty easy, okay? First of all, I have installed a little, uh, little bit of a guard rail thing around my, uh, uh, my storage thing. And I've also patched up my uh, XP grinder, right? Uh, when you go in from the top. Let me go in, Jesus. Okay. When you go in from the top, you see that everything is just flush, okay? I'm not going to be using this thing right now because i got to get going, right? Now, you got to locate um, kind of the center of your island, right? Uh, this block here is not the perfect center, but it comes close enough, okay? And you have to go up a few blocks, right? This is, I think, uh, let's make an estimation. I think this should be like 30 blocks, maybe a few more not actually sure what you do is you put water on top of that thing okay and thus that thing is gonna then flow down and hit the hit the ground right now when it hits the ground it spreads out into this uh this diamond shape and under this diamond shape at night the mycelium is going to decay back into dirt and that is the mechanic that we're going to be using at this thing okay are you following Basically, what we can do now is we can put blocks onto this thing to increase the shape of this thing. Okay? If you take a look at how it works out down there, uh, you can see exactly what's going on, okay? Now, um, I do this in a way that... Um, it allows me that I can uh, like go down and then keep on going. You kind of gotta uh, get a little bit of the feeling for um, how long is the water. This one here was a bit too long. I can remove that. You know. And now you do that, and by that you just cover the literally the entire island in water. Okay. There is not supposed to be a single block of mycelium left. Okay, as soon as there is a single block of mycelium left, you're gonna have to do the entire thing all over again. Yeah, exactly. Um, so let me right, get right back to you and I got a bit of progress done here, right? Alright, so check this out, right? I have installed one of these lines all the way across the island. And already, it is night, it's night time right now, as you can see. And uh, we're already starting to get some decaying mycelium. It's turning back into dirt, which is exactly what we want. So, uh, let me get going, right? Okay, dudes, check this out, okay? Um, I made a cross in the middle. Uh, that's pretty much ba pretty basic, right? And now I'm just uh, branching out in any random direction. I don't really care what direction it is, you know? Uh, this time I've spaced so much... Um, you know what I do is I... Uh, I I've counted how far, how long this thing here flows. It's seven blocks outwards from this flowing, downwards flowing curtain of water. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I count seven blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven from here. Okay. I put in another block for the curtain of water itself. Um, and that is where I put out my uh, my next kind of scaffolding, right? Um, and basically what you do is you put one underneath and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on there and put another one underneath. And that's how uh, you expand this thing, right? All right, I thought I would bring you in for another progress update, right? 
um, you see right there this is the um, the water source um, this is the source of the water this one block here that connects to all of this water everywhere literally and um, the, the one, so one side of the island is now completely covered in water all right the entire island is covered in water and uh, almost all of the mycelium has decayed um, however there is a little bit of an issue that I want to share with you uh, because uh, if you want to do this yourself, you got to be very careful about it, right? It's uh, if you're not careful enough It may just well happen that you have to do the entire thing again because uh, these things here you see that um, They appear uh, literally right underneath your scaffolding thing, right? Um, dependent on how the terrain is shaped, okay? So uh, you ha literally you really have to um, check out everything like three four five times to make sure there is absolutely no mycelium left. A single block of mycelium can ruin everything. <sighs> okay, I have no idea what that was. Um, maybe we're having a little bit of too much, a uh, little bit too much load on the server. Maybe I have no idea. Ah, uh, okay. Let's try to find a mushroom. Hello, Mario. Mario, the mushroom, my friend. I need some of your goop. Can I? Dude, don't turn away. Don't be so rude. Okay, I just wanna. Jesus, holy fuck. Okay, um, let's actually get going with this, right? Uh, all of the mycelium has been removed, I think. Well, I know myself, and I know that there is probably going to be some block of mycelium somewhere that is going to cause another huge mis fucking infestation. But like, uh, I can't. I, for the life of me, I just cannot seem to find it. You know, I've, I've flown around this thing many times. I found many uh, mycelium blocks, but I'm still sure that there has to be some mycelium left somewhere. I just can't find it. Okay, seriously, uh, it took me a long time, but I can't find it. So let's just remove this water source here and let's actually get going because um, that's what we need to do. Um, also, I think I want to seed some grass before. Now I saved some grass from somewhere else at some point. Here we have. 58 blocks of glass that of grass that's probably going to be enough let's put one right there and one right there just just randomly on the floor all right we've got all the grass in place now um i think it's time to remove some water <laughs> i'm so excited actually because this is the moment where um where things happen you know where it it, it starts really matter it starts to really matter um, how much load can the server handle? Maybe this, the, all of these l water updates are gonna crash the server. I don't know. Let's just risk it. You know, there's nobody online except of myself anyway, so it doesn't really matter. It's not too bad if it crashes. Look at this. Uh, I love it when that happens. Okay, it seems that, that crushed the server. Okay, yeah, uh, whatever. All right, I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, it took us some time <laughs> to fix this because uh, for some reason something wasn't right. You know, I think it was uh, it was the water coming into uh, collisions with this uh, claimed chunk or something. I'm not entirely sure what what was the problem, but it's resolved now, huh? And this island looks nothing like before. Seriously, I I can't comprehend. You know, it looks so different with all the grass. You know, and um. Because I like, I know how satisfying it is to watch grass grow in Minecraft. Enjoy a little bit of a time lapse that I made of grass growing. Now, as to what blocks do I want to use, I have three different orange blocks right here on me that I want to use for 
the walls of the cave itself, okay? You get the deal? Um, I think these blocks are looking pretty good and especially if I uh, combine them with the green it's gonna work as some kind of a complementary color making the green look even greener and making the orange look even more orange, okay? Uh, are you following? Okay, 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 very good. Um, so, where do we get these resources though, right? We, we are going to need a considerable amount of the, these things. Um, because you know, these are not going to be the only rooms I'm going to be expanding and I want to be collecting some resources so I don't have to pick up everything every single time I do th something, you know, I don't want to have to put up, to have to uh, gather up all the stuff. So I'm going to bring you with me right now, just very quickly, quickly showing you uh, where, how exactly do I get my stuff, right? Uh, it's pretty easy. If we actually fly over here, we see that we have got a nice little mesa biome over here, which is conveniently placed right north of our island, which is perfect. Um, and we can use this biome to get some of the sand here um, and some of the orange stained terracotta. Is it called terracotta? I think in this version it's still called clay. Where we can get that stuff and we can get that stuff. All right, so let me gather up some things and I'll be right back with you. Okay, it has been a few a few minutes and I'm gonna know, uh, I think I have enough materials. I also brought some normal clay and I dyed it orange with our orange dye. Um, let me quickly put my stuff away. I'll be right there. Uh, let's manipulate the time like this. Perfect. Uh, Mario. Take a, let's give me your bowl of, yes, okay, I'll take that with me. I guess I'm going to need it at some point. Okay, now we are taking all of these things here. And we're going to start by, I think, placing the red sand. Because the red sand obeys gravity, I think. So, does it make sense if we do it this way? I don't really know. No, actually not. It makes more sense if we start with the orange one. Okay. Alright, what I do is I just put it everywhere. Okay, like this. Right? Just put it in the walls. Okay? Be right back. Okay, check this out. I put some uh, gray, uh, gray, orange fucking terracotta into the walls. And now I'm gonna put the... Um, I think I'm gonna put red sand just on top of those because red sand falls, you know, and uh, if we want to put it into the walls, we gotta put some blocks there first that we can put it on, you know. Sometimes this happens because I'm kind of stupid, so I have to do this in order of uh, placing them in. But this is what I'm gonna do, okay? I'll be right back with you. Alright my friends, it has been a few hours and I've been doing some business here, alright? Check this out, we've got these really vibrant orange walls, I like it. Um, it doesn't really tie together with the green yet, but trust me, I have all the plans, okay? I'm gonna get there, right? Um, I know exactly what I'm doing, okay? Just be a little bit patient, right? This is not gonna all happen in today's episode. It's, it's a really big project, okay? So, uh, gotta split this up into many, many different parts, you know? Um, alright, what would be the next thing that I would have to do? Okay, I think, um, I think I should be very good off with just, uh, ripping out the floor, replacing it with uh, some dirt, then seeding some grass on the dirt so I can get it a little bit greener and then I have to blend the grass in with uh, with these walls here, you know, to make it kind of look a little bit connected. And what I then want to do is I want to have, uh, I want to work on these slopes coming down here, you know, these overhangs in a way, right? I want to make them look a little bit more realistic, right? But let me get there one second, be right back. All right, would you look at that, please? That looks fantastic, I think, right? Um, we've got some grass here at the floor. You know, it, it has been spreading all the way across the thing. Uh, I'm gonna show you right over here. We've got grass over here, you know. Um, and also what I've been doing is I've been making a little bit of an entrance, you know, just a little bit of, a, of an entrance area, okay? We see that um, it is still quite messy here, but we're gonna care about that later, okay? In a few seconds. Uh, I'm gonna explain you, right? We've got this overhanging thing right here and a little bit of a punt and then a uh, spiral staircase going all the way up here. 
to the island floor level thing, okay? Um, what I want to do with you now is um, to get a little bit of a detail into these uh, floor patterns, okay? Because um, you can see this wall here does have a fair bit of detail already and um, doesn't quite fit in with the grass because the grass is very flat and very shallow in a way, right? So I'm gonna get myself some resources. Um, I think I've already prepared everything. We've got a chest full of green stuff over here and also some coarse dirt. I've been uh, flying around the world trying to get some uh, flowers of different varieties, some vines and lily pads and grass and that kind of stuff. Um, also what I found out, um, oak leaves and acacia leaves, they look so amazing together. Acacia leaves and oak leaves. Wow, right? They're like basically the same, but they have like a very, very slightly different texture and that's perfect, okay? Perfect for what we're doing here, okay? So, first thing what I want to do is I want to get some paths in place, okay? Because I think we have the path blocks and path blocks are something that we can use to make things look a lot better. Um, this is the entrance, right? So, I'm just going to... Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start all over here and then I'm gonna just uh, sprint all the way across here kind of following the pathway right in a uh, natural kind of organic way okay Let's drag this thing across here and give it a little bit of a curve and into here how does that line look yeah, yeah, I can definitely work with that. I especially like how it turned out here on the path. Okay, now what we have to do is we are basically we just have to make this bit of thing a little bit wider, I think. And then we can start mixing in some other materials into this path. All right, so what next, huh? Uh, we need some regular dirt. I mean, technically I could use grass, but I don't really have a lot of silk touch left. So I'm going to go with regular dirt and hope everything grows back as intended, okay? And I'm using this dirt to mark out, um, to like get, get a, some more grass into the path, you know? Because now that we've made this path very narrow, very, very uh, sophisticated in a way, we have to kind of break it up a little bit more again, okay? I have to put the occasional grass back in there, uh, keep everything nice and uh, and kind of destroyed by the, uh, the weather and stuff like that, you know? Yeah, maybe we put another one right over here and then we get some grass. Nah, maybe that's wrong, I don't know. Let's put another grass right here and right here in the middle of the thing. All right, so while that grass um, has to grow, you know, while that stuff has to grow, I'm gonna do some other things. I'm gonna take my coarse dirt and I'm gonna put that very same thing uh, using some shovels. I'm gonna put that very same stuff here and there into the floor, okay? Just here and there. Uh, it doesn't have to be in the floor. You can put it like a little bit outside of the... Ah, crap. Crap! No, I, I did the thing. <sighs> That's annoying thing with the uh, with the shovels. Shovels in the, in the regular hand, blocks in offhand. Trying to place things on a grass block doesn't work. <laughs> okay, uh, here, maybe another one right there. Here, then I can exchange this one and this one and this one, maybe. And I'll do this just to break up the path. Like this I think that works I yeah that works pretty good okay okay um, also I want to replace these uh, these steps that we have going here these steps out of uh, orange stuff I want to replace them with, uh, with something that looks a little bit more different you know something that ties in with the design but still kind of in a way uh, goes out a little bit you know um, over here we've got these spruce fences and I think if we use spruce wood for plankage like for steps and stuff we can make it look a little bit better you know because we have this color the spruce wood in the build that we 
What the? Okay. Uh, we have this 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 uh, color, the spruce in the in the belt, that we haven't really uh, haven't really used anywhere else. Okay. Now where did I put my fucking wood? I want some wood. Can I get some wood? Okay, there we go. Um, put that in there. Make some. Why am I making fences? I was trying to make slabs. What the hell? Right here, okay? We put this thing right there, like so. And this thing right there, like so. I think that ties in pretty good. Now you have to imagine that um, there's gonna be vines and, and grass and leaves and everything in this thing and uh, everything's gonna be tying in uh, together with the, with the design and stuff, you know? I'm gonna care about that in a few seconds. Let's, uh, let's get this going though, okay? Um, I'm also thinking about putting in the slabs directly into the floor. I'm not exactly sure about if I want to do that, but I'm thinking about it and I really don't know. Okay, you know? Ah, what the? You damned fucking thing. Okay, let's put this here. I think we would need another one right there. Or maybe that looks stupid if I put it right there. Uh, taking it out. Okay. Um, yeah, I quite like this. Um, something is not correct, though. This step here, I feel like it should be a bit more curved in a way. You know, this is like one of the things that only I see, you know, and it's a little bit hard to explain what exactly is going on. Let me get a block of dirt. Um, I think that this here would look a lot better if, um, this step here would look a lot better if I would, if I were to put a block right here and then this like there. Because this, this path here, it goes off into this direction, so only makes sense for this step to be a little bit curved, you know? I think that looks pretty good. Okay, um... Yeah, what now? I wanted to try this out, okay? I wanted to try how it looks with, uh... Ooh! It's not bad! I like that! Let's try a few more of those, okay? Put one there. One here. And that ties in the path design with the steps a lot more. I like it. Ah, no, not again! What the hell? No! Why are you doing this to me, Minecraft? Why are you doing this to me? Can't you just have me play for a while? Come on. Um, I don't want to get rid of this grass here. So instead I'm going to go with this one. And this one, I guess. Maybe right here. And there. Ah! Why is this always happening? Fucking hell. What is this bullshit? So we've got some uh, spruce wood in the floor. I like that. Uh, blending in really good with the coarse dirt and the and the path block. Really, really nice. I like that. Now um, I have I've got myself a crap ton of uh, different plants and, and stuff. Right. Let's start. Let's uh, put this stuff down. But let's start with uh, the easy stuff. Okay. And I also want to get. I don't know if that's a thing in this version of Minecraft because uh, the chronology. I'm not really sure about what feature got put in in what like version and shit. Right. I've got some string on here. Can I put string somewhere? <gasps> yes, I can put string somewhere. Now that is useful. That enables us to do uh, something that we would be able to do without string. For example, I can make this like this and I can put a string on top of there. And this sugar cane will now never grow. It will stay like this. That enables us to use it for some kind of a decoration. I can just put one sugar cane down, put a string on top. From distance, the string is absolutely fucking invisible. I can even put it like right here. Maybe that's a little bit bold though. But it's good enough. You're not gonna see the string as unless you like really go up to it, you know? Um, so that's gonna overall do something for the ambience. Get myself some lily pads from a nearby swamp biome and I can just throw them. Let's throw them on there, but without a pattern, okay? Without... Yeah, I think this is actually already enough. 
let's put some on here as well right, right there right there and right there and maybe another one over here just for symmetry sake or like pattern sake oh yes 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 I like that I like that a lot okay let's some um, do I have some bones laying around somewhere I mean um, this is a mushroom island at least it was a mushroom island when there was still mushrooms left but that means that we don't get any mob spawns here which is it is cool it, it, it gives the illusion of a really really safe base it feels like a really safe place on the other hand I don't have any fucking bones here you know usually you would have to uh, fight some skeletons here and there you know and then collect some bones but apparently that's not a thing on mushroom islands Come on, do I have some... Uh... Ah, there has to be a bone somewhere, alright? No? Okay, no bones for us. Right, then we gotta do this without bones. No problem, because I've prepared things, okay? I wanna start with the flowers. Okay? Because I wanna put the flowers kind of a little bit in the background, okay? Like, just here and there, but not everywhere and kind of hidden in the background a little bit more okay um uh, and the poppy right here and a dandelion over there yeah and a or orchid orchid i don't know what the fuck is the pronunciation for these things are they even yes they're actually called blue orchids good thing good thing mayhem you remember the thing wow good job okay uh put the thing there oh yeah this is starting to to really develop this idea works out really good I like it uh, another orchid here and right there and let's put some near the water as well uh, dandelion a little bit of a nice little bit of a yellow tone to it you know I really enjoy that um, now where else would we have to put some you know, because I don't want this to be totally loaded, you know? I want this to be, like, kind of subtle. Subtle? Ah, fucking pronunciation, mayhem. Ah, okay. Put a flower right there. I like the red flowers. They're pretty. Um, let's put thing right there. Thing right there. And, it, and an orchid right there. And maybe on here. And on there. But I want to work with the grass for now, okay? Let's put some grass. Grass is what really brings things into perspective, okay? Because if I put some occasional grass here, blending from the green into the orange, you see what this is doing, huh? It's, it's not a uh, solid line anymore. It's not two solid colors. It kind of blends in with, with the texture of the grass, you know? I really like that. I enjoy that very much. Put it right here and there and there gotta be a little bit careful with those things because I only have like two stacks of them if we had bone meal we can just bomb this place with these but sadly we don't if anyone uh, finds a skeleton spawner you know uh, I'll take that oh yes oh yes that looks so cool I mean it, it still lacks kind of a little bit of a uh, perspective thing but we next episode we're gonna start some trees but and, and it's gonna be weird trees Trees you've never seen before, with weird colors and then, and, 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 I don't know, glassy leaves or something, crystal trees or shit, I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, but that's gonna make things pop into perspective a lot more, okay? For now, I'm pretty happy with the thing that we do with the grass here right now, okay? Because it really did a lot more for the thing than I was expecting, and I had great hopes, you know, I had great expectations for this thing, and it's still a lot better than those. This one here, though, I think that's a bad idea. So now that we've got this nice little uh, meadow kind of theme here, I really like it. It, it. it feels a lot more alive than it did before, okay? Really, it feels a lot more alive, little, uh, a lot more lush in a way, okay? Now, I want to put some vines on things, okay? But you gotta be, with the vines, you gotta be a little bit careful, okay? Um, if I do vines, I don't just spam actual vines all over the place, okay? What I do is um, I start by just making some leaves, okay, some uh, vines. And this is what I call vines because they actually look like real vines, you know. Oh man, crap, I made these out of acacia leaves and these out of oak leaves, okay. 
That's not what I was trying to do. But I'm not complaining. Let's put some in there. Yeah, I think that works pretty good. Um, we can even put them like in the floor and stuff, right? Um, let's, let's break a few more of these. Because I think these are a bit too many. Uh, how can we solve this, though? I want to kind of connect things together. And I want to kind of... Um, yeah, let's, let's just spam some leaves on the floor and on the thing, okay? I, I, do, I do put them into, like, little groups, you know? Uh, and I don't make them fully opaque. I make them so that there's kind of a little bit of, a, of air in between them. Because I'm pretty limited to what leaves I use, okay? I have acacia leaves and oak leaves. And that's all I have. Because um, the other things, like we have such a vibrant grass color, such a vibrant biome color here, that um, going with something like birch leaves or spruce leaves really wouldn't work. You know that this this, this dark green color, it, it kind of works in a cold context, you know, but it doesn't at all work with a very lush, kind of, kind of even like almost alien kind of landscape. You know, it's uh, this landscape here, it's looking so lush, you know. It's not even looking like Earth anymore, you know? That's what I'm going for here, yeah? I'm trying to make, like, landscape that is so lush and so vibrant, you know? That it makes you go, what the fuck is this shit, right? That it makes you go, um, okay. <laughs> like, it, it kind of confusing, confusing foliage and shit, right? Um, yeah, I like that vine. Um... Let's connect it to this thing in a way, okay? Let's put some vines over like so. Yeah, I think this this could work. Um, yeah. Yeah, definitely works. Definitely works. Um, now this thing here is an entrance. And I want to kind of showcase the entrance a bit more. Um, I'm going to frame it with some uh, of these leaves, okay? Yeah, I think that works pretty good. Let's bring this down to the floor. Like this. And then we're going to fill in some acacia leaves. Like okay, that's that. That's very good. Now let's put some bushes on the floor. Just like this, you know? Just some random piles of leaves. That's how you make bushes, you know? All right, here we are. Um, I've, been, I've been placing in some more of these uh, this grass here, some more uh, of the vines. Um, we've now got them all over the place, okay? They're all, way, all the way around here, all the way around the outside. We've got some grass right there. Um, and if we fly over here, we see that in this room here, we've got the same thing, same theme going on, some some uh, leaves on the bottom, on the, on, the, on the top of the thing, right? Leaves just make everything look a lot better. But um, I think there's one more thing that needs to be done here. Um, to tie everything in together, um, the green and the orange, to tie that a bit together. Um, and this last thing would be dead bushes, okay? Um, dead bushes, they have this really uh, kind of an orange kind of tint to it, kind of orange, kind of brownish thing. And if we can bring that into this, uh, this very unbroken kind of lush green landscape down here, um, then we can bring traces of the orange back into the green, you know? We've got traces of the green in the orange, that's really good. And we need some more orange in the green, okay? And I think I'm gonna use some uh, dead bushes for that, okay? All right, here we are in the, de in the desert. And I think um, we should be able to just pick up a few of those things here. One of those, and one of those. Maybe Ooh, look what I got here. Nice little desert temple buried in within the desert. Hehe. <laughs> okay, let's, let's try to take this thing, okay? Let's try to not destroy anything. Let's do it like a pro. This thing is off. Let's take all the TNT. <laughs> okay, what else do we have? Uh, what we got here? Golden apple. I'll take that. Bones. Bones are very good. I can keep those. Gunpowders and sand. I'll take that as well. What else do we have? We have an emerald and a notch apple. Very cool. Very cool. That's going to help me at some point. At some point I'm going to need this thing. Um, okay, I'll take the sand as well. What else? Mend... 
No, there is no way. There is there is no way there is a mending book here. <sighs> well, nobody's gonna fucking believe me that I just legit found a, le a mending book in a fucking... <laughs> okay, but I ain't complaining. I'm taking it. I'm taking it. I'm taking it, everybody. I got mending. <laughs> First mending book on the server. Okay, what do we got? Got another notch apple here. That's very cool. Getting the most OP loot ever. Like, ever. Okay, and, and what is this other book here? Okay, that's just the sharpens one. Okay, I'm gonna, not complaining about that. But the mending book, guys? Seriously? Mending book? Now, that's that's a cool thing. I like that. So, we've got some uh, dead bushes and some cacti. Let's actually start putting some things on here. I cannot... I cannot put them on grass? Really? Okay, that, that really defeats the purpose, kind of. But at least I can put them like on coarse dirt. Let me get some more coarse dirt. I think I have some more laying around somewhere. And... I think we could be, um... Just putting like coarse dirt here and then a dead bush on top. We could just do that here and there, everywhere. A little bit, you know, maybe right here, one, like so. Oh yeah, that, that ties in the design, oh yeah. Yeah, that works really good. It's so beautiful. Seriously, I, I have no idea, I can't contain myself, it's too pretty. Just look how it glows in the, in the nighttime, in the torchlight. It's so cool, right? <laughs> really, one of my, uh, I'm really proud of this build, you know? Really proud. Yeah, but anyways, guys, um, I think that's gonna do it for today's episode. Um, I think we did some actual really cool-looking home improvement here. I'm really, really excited with how this thing is starting to look. You know, in the next episode, I think we're gonna start uh, going downwards, going like into the ground a little bit more, expanding a little bit. You know, maybe, uh, maybe we can uh, get some storage up and running. I don't know. Gonna have to see how it goes, right? All right, but that's it for today's episode, guys. You can uh, uh, turn off the video now and. Uh, do your homework for once or something, I have no fucking idea, right? My name is Mayhem and I'm out. Goodbye. Hehe, <laughs> best find ever. Best find ever.